Hi, my name is Sina Javan Kostel and I'm the product manager of Slide 2 and Slide 3 software. Today, I'm going to talk about geometry cleanup tools in a Slide 3 software. A slide 3 has all the tools to clean up and create complex geometry units coming from different geological, civil, and mining software packages. Today, I'm going to show you an example of a geological unit which is part of an open pit mine. Let's look at it in the slide 3 software. Here is the slide 3 software and I'm going to create a geometry using our geometry tools. The first step would be to import our geometry entities. So I go to the geometry menu, import, export, and import geometry. There are two entities that I'm going to select both of them to import uh, to the software. Before that, just keep in mind, these are acceptable formats to be imported into the slide tree software. They can include surfaces, volumes, or even point clouds that you can have them and import them into the software. So I'm going to select these two entities. And this is our geometry importer. You can either select any entity that you want, or you can select all geometry and select all the entities to be imported into the software. I'm going to select all and go to the post-processing section. In the post-processing section, you can find a repair defects and you can simplify the triangulations if it's necessary. For this example, I have 300,000 triangulation count, which is OK. And I'm just going to click on Done and import the geometry entities. So here we have a pit shell and we have a geological unit, which is a volume. So the first step would be to create our external geometry. Very first step, every time that you make a geometry in a slide tree is to select all the entities, go to geometry, surface triangulation tools and retriangulate. I use the default option. This is to make sure that the triangulation that the entities have is compatible with the slide tree standards. The surface triangulation part is done. You can always look at the triangulation by going to view, show all edges. And you can see how nice and uniform the triangulation is in this geometry. I'm going to turn it off by going to view, show all edges again. Now let's look at the pit surface. Let's repair this one first. I'm going to the geometry menu, repair tools, repair. There are a couple of issues with this surface. I'm going to click on this repair button and with one click repair, the software is trying to fix all these issues. And you can see that they are all zero now and all the issues are done. Keep in mind, there are serious issues, holes, self-intersection and non-manifold issues that they must be repaired for geometries. But if you have near degenerated and near folding, you can leave them if they are not too many and continue building your geometry. I'm going to close this dialog. Then the next step would be to create the external geometry. I'm going to go to the geometry menu, create external from surface since we have the pit surface. Here, you just need to give elevation or depth for this surface. I'm going to give 300 units of depth, as you can see here, and hit OK. My external boundary is created. Now. I need to focus on the geology entity and start repairing. The first step would be to look at the problems that this geometry entity has by going to repair tools and repair. You can see there are so many defects in this geometry entity. So this repair tool can be used as a tool to just review the defects and use other tools that we have to fix the geometry. I'm going to click on close. In the geometry menu, we have a section called surface triangulation tools that they have repair tools in it and we can use them. So if you take a closer look at this geometry, I'm going to double click and go to this window. As you can see here, there are several disjointed entities, but the software shows only one entity. So we have to separate them first. I'm going to the geometry menu 
surface triangulation tools and ungroup non-manifold. This is the option that you can use to separate the non-manifold entities from each other. So I'm going to click on it and you can see that instead of one entity, we have, if you see this number, 21 entities. A slide tree has a tool that you can filter the entities by going to query menu, press here, geometry, volume, and volumes less than. For the sake of this example, we are not interested in the volumes less than 3000 size of the uh, entity. So I'm going to select all of them, change the role to construction, and I'm going to discard which is the delete option in the slide tree. So if you go back to the visibility tree, you can see that these are the entities that are left. Our next step would be to make sure that all these entities are watertight and they are volumes. So I'm gonna select all of them, go to geometry, surface triangulation tools and form closed triangulation. By clicking on no, the software makes sure that all these entities are watertight and they are volumes. So the process is done. So every entity is a volume here. Now, the last step would be to look at these entities one more time in the repair tools to make sure that there are not serious issues for these entities. And you can see that all these three serious problems are zero. We only have near degenerated and near folding issues. That's why I'm going to leave it as is. And the next step would be to do the divide all process. Divide all geometry is a tool to intersect the entities that they are not part of the external geometry with the external entity. So by clicking on divide all, all these entities will be part of my external geometry. So I'm going to click here. And you can see that when all the entities, they have lock in front of them, it means that they are divided with the external geometry. But the number of entities that we have is more than the original number of entities. That's why we go to the geometry menu, repair tools, collapse small volumes that are created during the divide all process. So for this example, I'm going to the advanced filtering and up to this point are the entities with a very small size of geometry. You can see that the size is near zero. I'm going to click on collapse and we are left with the original number of geometries that we are interested in. In this video, I showed you how to clean up and create geometry using a slide tree software. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below.